friend. Stop. Welcome back to the channel where yeah, yeah, I am back. today yeah, yeah. at Simply yeah. Audi. Yeah. So for those of you that um, don't know me, I'm sure you do, but my name's Andy and I am an Audi TT And I'm here looking at all these lovely Mark 1s today and looking at some of the other great cars we've got here also. So we're going to have a little walk around, see what we've got. I'm going to spin you round, just have a quick wander around, see what we've got. So here's my car, a little story about my car today. 122 miles to get here, and I got all the way to that flagpole over there and I broke down. So yeah, so this broke down literally 100 yards from where it's parked, and it got shoved here. By the great staff which is which is nice so i really appreciate them doing that i think it's the fuel pump relay it may be causing a problem but let's have a quick look around these other cars got some mark twos a mark three ttrs very nice car had a chat with the gentleman in the seat earlier on fellow tt addict mark one one we've seen on the channel many times got so sport what else have we got going on Adam's car, look how low this is sitting. Well, I think he's got problems with his oil pressure sensor. It's a great car, great car. Let's see what else we can find as we walk around. Mark three. And look at this. Now we're talking R8s, R8s on show. And then see what else we can find here. You don't also get historic Audi as well. So you can see that you've got some uh, rally cars as well. I think this one is 17 of 20 as well we've got here. It's caused a lot of uh, excitement from the Audi fans. Not only fans, it's Audi fans. Now we've got Alex's great noggy. Enjoyed convoying down with the guys today. And car, Chris's car. It made it as well with all its new mods it's got so he said his new bumper put on he's got his splitter on a lot of work going under here he's uh, painted his inlet manifold he's put, a, he's put a spacer on it as well so it keeps it nice and cool kyle's car looks great as always always lovely and clean this car looking great and this is the car i've never seen before look at this one guys have a shout out if you've seen this one. This is a blue road, so a blue hood. I think it repainted, but it's um paintwork needs a bit of work. Mr. George's car, Richard. Hello, Richard. Great glasses on Richard. Look, Hello. look at his glasses. I found them. You found them, they're in the gutter. Skip. <laughs> Just up there, they're giving them away. So Richard's had a lot of work done to the paintwork in the last week, so it's looking immaculate. Great car. Lewis's car. And if you see Lewis's car, you've always got a mark. Make a, a remark on his wheels. He hasn't curbed them. His big bowler wheels he's got. Mark two, Roadster. And the Mark one. Got work going under here. Very honest looking under there. Oh. Mr. Bridgeland's car is a P51, which we've already been around. No, you're all right, guys. You're all right. I don't want to, don't want to interrupt you from looking at the car. So Steve's the uh, proud owner of all this great handiwork he's done i'm sure you've seen it many times on my channel but it's all hand painted this is not a wrap repeat this is not a wrap it's all hand painted it's a great job and everyone that sees it always says the same thing so yeah a... oh look robin's doing his own little uh i'm not a youtuber but i'm doing my own little video you're doing you're not doing facebook live are you I think this is just no, it's not. Good. I think it's a uh, Mauritius blue, same as mine. That one, probably, yeah. uh, look, let's look how low this is. Look at this mark, too. How low this is very stealthy looking. And um, this is Mr. Marchant's car, so fellow moderator on the TT Addicts. You can tell it's Steve's car because. He always is his passenger. It's worth pointing out Steve's passenger. You always know this is Steve's car. It's Terry Turbo's in the passenger seat. There he is. Good old Terry Turbo. Looking great. Gina's car. 
So the Audi TT Addicts Boss, Gina's car, looking great. Look at this one, this is lovely. Sorry guys. Sorry. You alright? You all good? How low that is. I presume that's on air to be that low. Oh, he's been dra dragging it along the tarmac, right? one of the two. Phil Bose's car, I've seen it many times. Always good to see Phil, one of the boys in the background. Are you enjoying Hello. Simply Audi, guys? Yeah, good. Uh, Terry Turbo just had a starring role. Yeah, he always had to get Terry in there. Make him shy. Very honest looking Mark 1 there. I think this is Jeff's car. Always looks lovely. Mr. Cannon. What else have we got? I don't want to, there's so many cars here today, people. I don't think I'm going to be able to cover them all, but please do, uh, I would say, shout some comments out. But I'm having a job keeping up what people are saying. So if there's anything in particular you want me to stop at and have a look at, let me know. Look at this lovely TTRS here. 23 plate as well. See, so it's not just the Mark 1s on the channel today, it's all the cars. And there's cars literally everywhere. Well, we are on the time first time today, which is good. Let's take you up here and look at this great Mark II here. Look at this paint scheme on this. Very uh, mid 90s retro for Williams Racing Team, it reminds me of when I see this. What a great looking car that is. Great looking car. Fabulous. So like I said, I had a bit of a, a bit of a disaster coming in today as I literally got all the way in and then I broke down. 100 yards from the entrance. So the problem hasn't gone away yet. Um, right, so let's... More Mark 1s. It's funny, I start to recognise the number plates on these cars nowadays. So I know them, so if I haven't met you as owners, I've met your cars. Sanders, lovely TTRS Mark 3 here. Owned it about a year, spoke to him last year when we were here. And a, a car that I featured on TT Meets TT is Drew's great Quattro Sport here. So there he is, but lovely car that one. Great condition. This has got to be a 3.2, surely. Cream interior. Yeah, auto box, DSG. Lovely car. Great car. Right, so that's the uh, that's the end of the tarmac. So yeah, so now I don't know if you're watching yet, but um, I want to say a big shout out today to a, a little buddy of mine who's not very well in hospital at the moment. He's probably watching this. So Jude, if you're watching this, buddy, sorry you're not here with us. Um, be great to see you i'm hoping that i'm able to bring the cars to you today rather than uh bring you to the car so make sure you get better soon buddy and i'm going to come and see you maybe this week uh, in hospital keep fighting and i'll see if i can come and see you this week all right well, let's have a look at these cars little lovely all right all black all black. I don't want to miss cars out. I got told off last year for missing cars out. People got upset I'd missed the car, but look, there's a black Mark 1. And this car was at Shuttleworth the other week. I didn't get to Shuttleworth, but I have seen this because this was a, a cover car for my uh, event video this month. This Marlborough Mark 1. Great car. Great paint scheme. Let's have a look at it. So, And someone pointed out the wheels on this to me. Let's see if I can spin that round. I want to see if I can turn that round. It seems to have double calipers. Look at that. Caliper at the back and caliper at the front. So if you know what that is, guys, is that genuine or is that just for show? Big exhaust on it. Who knows? Now this is a car that I convoyed down with today, I believe. Hi well, Simon, hope you well. Yeah, 
in great condition. Although it looks black, this car, I think it's a very dark desert green. It's in lovely condition, the paintwork's immaculate on it. It's a Mark III. And this car here goes. So we even have the Heritage Audis here as well. That was here last year for sure, I remember that car. Let's see what else we've got. Ryan Barber's car. So Ryan likes to wrap his cars every year with a different wrap. And Ryan's wrap this year is this 23 badged up car. I guess the benefit of having a white car is if you do wrap it, you can change the logos and the designs every year and get some good, good looks to it. Darren Clark's car, I'm not really sure Darren is, but this is Darren Clark's car. He loves a sticker as well. Very low. Very low. What else we got going on? Let's see what else we got going on over here. S5. Sounds some big noise coming from over there, so I think there's some R8s that might be starting up. One. And I think this is a manual 3 2, if I remember rightly, from my previous walk round. Yeah, there it is. I saw this car today there's only one person I thought of and that was Mr Bedford because I thought oh is that your car Jeff but no that, I don't think that is Jeff's car <laughs> that'll be the R8 <laughs> so yeah there are two in the country Jeff by look at it so you can hear me over the R8s look at that size of calipers on that I think he spent a lot of money in the first place on it. <laughs> <laughs> Great car. What's the size of that four air filter in there? It's like a tin of paint. That's all that is. I don't want to for lunch. More heritage Audis. Over here, more heritage Audis. Let's have a look. We've got TT Quattro's. TT Quattro's? Just Quattro's, sorry. Got. I don't know if you can make this out. It's got like a snake skin to it. Can you see that on the camera? It's got a snake skin pattern to it. Very interesting. Let's get that one over here. Mark 1. We'll be seeing you in a few weeks. Nice Lovely Mark 1 there. A lot of people huddled around this. A lot of familiar faces here. Jeff's here. But the handling of those cars oh, is phenomenal. I've never driven a car. It's probably the mini. Can you do it? Do you right? Yeah, because there's your car doing. I haven't run out of oil yet. Not yet. No. We'll do eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the garage, I think. Yeah. This is it. A lot of people talking around, talking around about their TTs here today. Talking around, standing around, talking about their TTs. What else we got then? All right, it's, it's, it's interesting to say because the parking is so diverse today because you had to sort of park where you arrived or where you were given, you've got the R8s just muddled in with all the other cars. Some of them are parked together. Just a couple of nice little Mark 1s on the end. Let's have a look at these guys. It's owner's club bag, little sort of blue roads today. All black here. These, uh, these are these R8s or something else. They really are. I mean, you can certainly hear them. It's lovely. Look at this lovely paint. Oh, like that, that that amazing, amazing paintwork. Amazing cars. 
the beast. That's the end of it. Are we done? Are we done? Oh. Right. Yeah, I think the, uh, the guys that are on the show, they're not a big fan it's of the noise. So they don't want you to, um, they don't want you to be popping out the noise. Another R8 here. All right, what else have we got to see? Now we parked here last year, we parked right in front of the building last year. Um, this year there's a, it's all seems to be cordoned off, but a big row of R8s all parked up, mixed in with the Mark 1s. Got the Mark 1 there. R8s over there again. Let's see what else we can find. See if we can find any familiar faces. But that's pretty. Uh, Really uh, stealthy looking one that. Right, it's a colour that was here last year, I remember, with the skeletons inside. And then a big, uh, I remember rightly, had a bit of a sound system on the back as well last year. It's still there. I think you might have noticed this, this ended my preview to Simply Added 2023 this year in the video. What a nice little uh, TTS roadster there. Another TTS there. What else we got? I don't want to miss any of these Mark 1s out so I get told off. So this car here belongs to Jack. Give you a little look at Jack's Insta there. Now he draws cars, that's his job. And he's picked this car up in the last week or so, paid £1,600 for it. He's come from a Corsa to a 225 with a Stage 1 map. So he's, uh, he's definitely jumped a bit of power. People detailing their cars. It's, uh, the weather's not great today. It stayed dry on the whole, but it's just got that little bit of uh, keeping them clean is the challenge today. We're getting towards the house now. Hi, Si, see you on there. Yeah, I got your email, so I've not had a chance to reply. Um, yeah, let's see, hope fingers crossed I can get home. Oh, I might be in trouble, but I've got Chris here, so he can help me out if I need it. TTS, yeah. Don't the Ford's part of the mount make up. What have we got along here? Oh. Little green, little green roadster, little froggy roadster there. The yellow calipers. All green, all green, green on green on green on green on green. If you like green, that's the car for you. I don't think we've got any more Mark 1s along there. So what have we got along here? See if we can see. Can anyone see a Mark 1? I think there's any here. I think these are still the R8s along there. So. Guys, if you've got any questions on the cars you're looking at, then please do let me know. Um, let's see if I can find some people. Uh, oh, there is a Mark 1. Look at this. A papaya. Papaya Mark 1 tucked away at the back. Papaya Mark 1. Yeah. I don't think that's original paint, though. No. Might be wrong, but I don't think they made them. Might be wrong, do they make a papaya quattro sport? I would say not because the back of the seats aren't papaya. So, 
Very interesting, that one. What's that? So as you can see, there's probably not quite as many cars here as last year. Last year was packed out. Couldn't get parked, it was literally queuing at the door. Um, there's a few more out there, I've not got two yet. So, yeah, so those of you that haven't seen the video from the start, made it here, but I have broken down. Um, so, trying to get home is going to be a challenge. So, those of you that have seen the video, my uh, breakdown vlog video, if you've not seen it, go back and watch it because it just gives you a, a bit of realisation into art ones and challenges that come with them. Now, obviously, I'm off to the Nürburgring in two and a half weeks and I don't really want to be struggling and breaking down the side of the road so I'm hoping fingers crossed it is going to be a relay problem and if so I'm going to be on the lookout for a new fuel pump relay this week so Jason if you're watching this I might be popping down to see you and looking for a part all right so we're now back up to the cars flick you around Nice looking Mark 1 here. This is uh, Rob Scrivener's car by the look of it, from what I've just seen on the side there, by his uh, Insta, Rob's car. Rob's walking around doing a video of his own at the moment. So, that's the big car. There's a few more I've not seen out there. It's always the little gems tucked away. So it's not just TTs as you can see today, it's all manner of Audis. A lot of bigger Audis as well. I walked up to look at this pink car because I thought from a distance it might be a pink TT, but it's not. But it's very, very pink. It's got some interesting love heart rings on it as well. Nice little A1. Oh, I can see some more Mark 1s. Let's see if we can go up and have a look at those. If you do come to Bewley, it's definitely worth having a, a walk around the museum and seeing all the heritage stuff because it was a, it was a good day out and coming on a day like today where you are here looking at cars, it, um, it does sort of like um, make it all worthwhile because I think it's about £15 to get in, it's £15 for a ticket today so winner winner. What we got? Fire from that? They're fat fires, they are fat fires, are they? They're just the standard wheels. Now, I was speaking to a lady that liked my picture on Insta earlier, and she said she's got a red Mark one here, an old, really old one, an X Ridge one, but I've not seen that in my walk around, I'm not sure where that's hiding. Um, right, I think there's a couple of cars here, and I think this is um, this Mark one. 3.2 in a silver I've got the sport and I think this is Roberto's car if I remember rightly because he's got the he's done these great cut out grills he was telling me that he changed it from last time because he's he's painted these uh, these inserts so it's it's quite different nice bit of extra cooling in there it's got his ABT front grill I'm not sure if he's um, gone for a bit of a smoke look on his alloys as well or if it's just dirt. I'll ask him when I see him. Interesting. Nurburg Ring. We're there in literally uh, two and a bit weeks if that car holds together long enough. Fingers crossed it will. I think that might be the end of the Mark 1s. Let's see if I can find some usual suspects walking around, we'll have a chat. See if we've got... They've all been, they're all huddling around the same cars. Let's see if I can uh, find them. Hi Peter, I see you're on there. And I see you, Peter and Peter. So Peter and Jude and Peter Loden as well. Hope you're all well, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, I can see... Uh, 
I can see some fellow YouTubers over there. All talking TTs, no doubt. So let's see if we can... Uh... Right. Look, look who I found. Now, no swearing because we're live on YouTube. So, oh, no, okay, yeah. so look who I found. Chris, <laughs> yeah, Chris <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Kyle, Richard, uh, and Anu. Alex. Alex. <laughs> this is the guy that owns that blue well car over car? there. Is it right? We've already yeah, walked right. Driving all right? Yeah, yeah, How's your cars, guys? Yeah? It starts. How's your day? How are you enjoying the day? Um, yeah, that's all right. Yeah? It's all right. Do some filming though, yeah? Do you? Yeah, we might do some filming. You'll be safe. It's been a good day, hasn't it? Game, mate? Yeah, I've had better days, <laughs> I have to say. I've had better days. So, uh, yeah, let's have a little little flick round. So, yeah, put us up there. So, yeah, so I've had better days, as I've already talked about. I've had a few breakdowns. So, um, yeah, it's been good though, Personally, and the car, or just the car? Oh, well, yeah, I've had a breakdown, and the car's had a breakdown, so. Yes. It's been good, isn't it? Yeah, and I'd say Chris has had, had some. Let's have another exactly. quick look at Chris's car because he's had some extra bits that he's probably put. I don't know if you know, but Chris has done a few videos on it. I don't know if you've seen that. But, uh, yeah, he's done a few videos. I actually like the uh, modular hockey stick. Uh, yeah, focus on that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, got, it's got multiple mounts, you see. Oh, so yeah. I can, uh, oh, right. Here's one. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. You made it yourself. Right. I made it myself. That's still breaking a bit. Maybe I've got a blue Peter badge in your name. Oh, yeah, I'd love that blue Peter badge. Yeah, so... Yeah, so yeah, what do you, what do you call it? Is it phenolic, phonetic space or phenolic phonolic. space? Phenolic. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, am I? I do quite a pathetic. It's a hyperotic. It's a pathetic spacer. It's a pathetic spacer. A pathetic spacer. But it made a big difference to the cooling, yeah, didn't it, Chris? It does. It because does. Alex hasn't got one. And yeah. his was... So that was oh, red hot there. You could have cooked your eggs and bacon on that. But Chris's, it might have just uh, yeah, taken a bit longer to cook. It still cooked them, but it was... You could have cured some meat. You could have cured some meat, yeah. So, yeah. And Kyle's car is looking great. I mean, it's, we didn't look under this bonnet earlier, did we? But it's lovely and tidy. I think Kyle won an award for this. Did you not, did you not win the award at Ockham? I did, yeah. Car, best, car best of the show. In the world. Best car between that car and that car, wasn't it? I think, I think it was really Yeah, great, great award. Well deserved. So, uh, yeah. So I think that is pretty much covers us for the uh, the cars. If there's anything that you uh, you feel I've not covered, um, it will probably be in the in the main video that comes out, which will be coming out sometime this week. I'm not sure when. Um, but yeah, oh, there might be a few down here. I've not had a look. We'll have a quick look at these ones for a minute. Let's have a look. Here we go. So that's got an ABT front splitter in the uh, in the grill. I think it might be all full ABT. That I might be wrong, but. In red, oh, I do like a red car. Looks a bit like Chris's car, this one, but I don't think it is because I think it's uh, oh, I can't tell. That's got me puzzled. Is that a 3 2 or has it just got a 3 2 bits on it? Oh, look, little advert for Dom there. One for you, Dom. Parrot Road sticker on it. I think that's uh, I've not seen any Andy Charger stickers today other than on my car. Um, So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed my tour around of all the cars today. I'm going to go off and have a, a breakdown probably now, I'm literally, uh, and panic about getting home. But fingers crossed, I make it home tonight. And uh, yeah, thanks all for watching and see you soon. Take care all.